It could have been any park in Christchurch on any Sunday afternoon. So ultimate, effectively, eight cones and a frisbee and a bunch of friends. You can play it as competitively or pretty socially, however you want. And today it's competitive. In fact, it's the national ultimate frisbee tournament and it's on in our own backyard. You have two teams and seven, seven each um, on the field and throw it amongst your teammates with the aim of one of you catching it, landing inside the end zone. If you have any sort of incomplete pass, whether it goes out or hits the ground or anything, then it's a turnover and the other team picks it up and goes. But it's not as easy as it sounds. And a lot of people who haven't played it before feel like the hardest part's fitness. There's just lots and lots of running, but once you've played for a little while, you learn how to be lazy. But this tournament is anything but lazy, drawing teams for the men's and women's divisions from near and afar. We have teams from all around the country. We've got Wellington, Auckland, some people from Palmy, some Dunedin Knights, uh, Nelson people. And the tournament shouldn't be taken lightly. Yeah, it's pretty. It's a pretty big deal if you win it. Um, it gives you a lot of bragging rights for the rest of the year. You've got a really high intensity workout, um, a social life and a sport. And even though an Auckland team took out the tournament this year, it's Canterbury's ultimate aim to bring the silverware back down south next year. Lloyd Burr, Metro News.